Hello guys and welcome to Login Project. Today we're going to talk about dongles because more and more companies are producing phones without a proper 3.5mm jack anymore and they're either forcing you to use the one that they've provided in the box or they didn't provide any in the box so you gotta buy a separate one from them or from another company which could be a little bit confusing because although all of these dongles are 3.5mm to USB Type-C they're not compatible with all devices. Now. In case you have a 3.5mm jack, you can still boost your headphone output using one of those dongles, but I've made a separate video talking about dongles, I'm gonna link it in the description down below, but today we're gonna to find out which dongle gets the best and the loudest headphone output. I've tested those dongles with 10 different smartphones, guys, so let's see what kind of results did I get. Okay guys, so dongles that I have today are the following. The first one is the Moto Z dongle. It came for free in the box. It doesn't have any sort of, you know, Motorola logos anywhere and it's rather large in size. The second dongle is the official HTC One, which did not come inside the box of the HTC U Ultra. So I had to buy this separately online. It's about 10 bucks again from their official website. The third dongle today is the Google Pixel 2 dongle. There's the new dongle. Uh, I bought it from about nine bucks, I believe online. And it's rather short and cheap looking. There is absolutely no logos on it. And just to spice things up a little bit, I've conducted this test comparing it to the Essential Phone Dongo as well. Now, braided cables, metal housing, I really like this dongo. It's rather short, but the problem with this dongo is that you cannot buy it online unless you have an Essential Phone and it came in the box for free. So these are the phones that we're gonna have a look today, guys. The Kodak Ektra, the OnePlus 5T, the new one, the HTC U Ultra, the HP Elite X3 Windows Phone, the Moto Z2 Play, the Verizon version, the Exynos version of the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, I know what you're thinking, this Blackberry is totally, you know, out of place over here. I know I had the Blackberry Key One, so when I say this Blackberry, just think about the Key One, it's already gone. I told you I don't like it, I sold it today, so I'm sorry about that. But still, if you have the Key One, you're gonna see whether all of those, you know, adapters are going to improve your headphone output or not. Now we've got the Lego Kids Mix that's about 100 bucks Chinese phone, but it has a USB Type-C uh, port as well. So why not the original Moto Z and the Essential phone? So let's see what kind of results did I get. Now I'm gonna start ordering the phones by the results that I get, guys. For those four phones, the Kodak Ektra running an MTK processor, the HP Elite X3 which is running Windows, the Moto Z to play, and the BlackBerry Key One, I got the following results. The most powerful headphone output came from the Essential Phone USB dongle. Second place is very close and is for the HTC adapter over here. Third place, which equals to the headphone jack of all of those phones, is the Google Pixel adapter. And the last place is the Motorola because none of those phones actually supported the Motorola dongle. So the HTC U Ultra and the Essential Phone just joined the game guys. I've got exactly the same results with those dongles with those two phones as the other four. But the only difference being that those two phones doesn't really have a headphone jack. Okay guys, so the Moto Z just joined the group and what kind of results did I get? The most powerful headphone output is again from the Essential Jack. The second most powerful is from the HTC. Let me tell you that from all tests, these two are very close together. Now surprisingly, the third one is the Moto Own Jack. And the last place is the Pixel Dongo. Now what about the Galaxy SA, the Exynos version? The most powerful result I got from the Essential Phone Jack. After that from the HTC One, after that from the 3.5mm inbuilt headphone jack and those two dongles didn't really work with the S8. That's the Moto dongle and the Pixel dongles. Now what about the LEGO Kids Mix guys running a MTK processor? The most powerful result this time I got from the HTC dongle, after that from the Motorola dongle, after that from the Pixel dongle and for some reason on the LEGO Kids Mix the Essential Phone dongle didn't really work and the sound was kind of broken. And now the most surprising result to me was the OnePlus 5T which has a very good headphone jack by the way, 
but surprisingly none of those dongles worked with the oneplus 5t which was a little bit strange but anyway it is what it is just to sum it up guys in most situations i've got the motorola dongle not working actually so definitely don't buy this one the essential phone definitely wins this battle but unfortunately you can't really buy it from anywhere so basically the only two options that you have are the pixel dongle which basically provides the same output as the 3.5 millimeter jack or even worse in most situations so basically the only option you've got left in order to you know universally boost your headphone output is the HTC dongle about 10 bucks you can't really go wrong with this one i'm gonna try to leave links in the description down below so you can check them out so yeah that's about it guys so now at least you have an idea what to expect when you buy a dongle and now you know which one is the best thank you very much for watching and see you later